Kurt Cobain, Janis Joplin, Amy Winehouse, all died at the ripe old age of 27. I did not. And I'm not going to waste it. As Mary Oliver put it, Tell me, what else should I have done? Doesn't everything die at last and too soon? Tell me, what is it you plan to do with your one wild and precious life? So, what is it I'm gonna do with mine? First on the agenda, read about what everyone else did. Today is my 28th birthday. And we're going shopping. Dude, I forgot. Like, I knew it was your birthday, but also like, it's your freaking birthday today, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm 28 years old. The 27 Club has become one of the most elusive and remarkably tragic coincidences in rock and roll history. The term became widely known after Kurt Cobain's death in 1994, with rock fans connecting his age to that of Jim Morrison, Janis Joplin, and Jimi Hendrix. And then, in 2011, when Amy Winehouse passed away, it attracted even more attention to the significance of the age, 27. All birthdays carry an air of nostalgia, gratitude, and maybe even a twinge of disappointment. But turning 28 is a feeling entirely different. There's something extra eerie about your 28th birthday. You can't help but think about how you made it to a point in life that so many incredible humans never got the chance to. What was once taken for granted, the gift of a day, the blue of the sky, the sheen of your nail polish, sticks out more. At 28, your 30s are creeping up on you, and you're in that last stretch of time between waking and sleeping. I'm kidding, but it's the last stretch of time when you're still considered young enough to not have it all figured out, but the pressure of career, babies, setting down roots is already staring you down just over the horizon. Well, not me. I'll tell you, Mary Oliver, what it is I plan to do with my one wild and precious life. Okay, Audrey has built the itinerary for today, so our first stop is Starland Vintage. And it's so cute. We're looking for some t-shirts, dresses, I don't know. We'll see. We didn't get anything, but we are at our second location. This is what? Star Starstruck Vintage. And it just took us 20 minutes to find parking. So, we wish us luck. I saw that. It's too. been a like turn of events. We oh literally were like, okay, so what should we do now? We we're gonna go to Barnes and Noble, but we we're gonna hop around to a lot of like indie bookstores, and we we're like, let's do that another day because we're always in this area. Yeah, we're always in downtown Nashville, straight, straight up, like, right, right next to the restaurant that, that we, we go to every single every Sunday. single week, if not twice a week, most weeks twice a week. Anyways, then we're like, well, let's grab Chick Fil A because that's my fancy um, birthday lunch that I chose. <laughs> Me and Cassie are genius with the map quest. Well, map quest. we yeah. literally picked the With the map quest. <laughs> we literally picked the mall, and we didn't realize it until we were in the parking lot. We we're like, well, it looks like we're going to the mall today, so maybe we'll do a little shop around. I don't know. We'll see. Did I? Yeah. Okay. I'm going there. I thought I just missed my exit. I literally feel like I a, feel there's a reporter with this little. And back to you, Bob. I feel like I should not be about to drink another cup, cup of coffee. Oh, but we're gonna. I'm like, I feel like I. But about about But we're going to. Yeah. We're going to sit at the cafe at Barnes and Noble. Maybe peruse a little bit, and then we're gonna sit down Maybe. with our for books. sure, for sure, and read and spend some time in the AC because it's literally... The humidity must be like... It's tropical. 90% humidity right now. Trop oh, 90% humidity right now, legit. It's tropical level of humidity. Like when you walk out and your camera just completely fogs over.
gorgeous. It is a white macadamia cold brew. That white macadamia? With half the amount of, they do three pumps of macadamia in the coffee and then white chocolate and macadamia in the cold foam. But we got one shot of macadamia in the actual coffee because- In case you haven't noticed, I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. I don't fit in and I don't want to fit in. They normally do it really sweet and we are not for that. Well, and the cold foam is going to be plenty. And the macadamia, I'm just excited. It's like a Hawaiian tropical island She's perfect. summer. She's Seriously, this is the perfect time. You're lying. Cheers. That's gorgeous. Oh, did you see that I found this little bookmark? Audrey made it for me like eons ago. Well, she made it for you. She made she it for me. Made it for, for Cassie. She made us. I several. had that one for a long time. She made us several bookmarks. Yeah. Read and let your imagination soar. But the blue makes me happy, so I've been using it. Dude. And I fell asleep last night. I literally was like, I'm finishing this tonight. Told told them I think this is gonna be a five star review. Then talked myself down and out of a five star review and was like, no, there's no way. And then I fell asleep like two chapters in immediately like so early like literally i fell asleep at like 8 30 last night you absolutely are gonna finish this right now <gasps> right now i'm on yeah. two page you're at the two, epilogue <laughs> i'm at page 249 out of 275. Yeah, wait what are you gonna do I'm i brought my second book yeah she did the searcher all right chapter 33 let's go is this literally the last chapter you're lying. no there's 34 35. I'm almost at the end, oh my gosh. Is your for book? Yes. Literally just turned on the camera. <laughs> no. I am freaking out. Ow! You have nothing to freak out about. You should be wrapping that crap up. And it's not. Two oh. massive things and that I had not. absolutely zero clue. Perfect. <gasps> perfect. About. Truly perfect. Shoot. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't. Okay, so what's going on in your book? Uh, Kids going missing. And that's not spoiler because that's like literally the premise of the book again i don't know the premise of this book at all i've not read the description i don't know but i want to keep reading but i'm like when you're reading a thriller you want to give the most shock value you can have a cliffhanger at the end of each chapter and so that's why i feel like a lot of thrillers have really short chapters like breaks in between some of the paragraphs in the story so it's literally like i feel like she uses a lot of cliffhangery sentences and i think i know what the pink slime is it's not slime around uh 476 so around why does that one look so much bigger than mine legit mine is great and i'm literally on page 258 out of 275 i'm sad it's over like it's so shocking shocking that the main characters are shocked themselves you know what i mean everybody's shocked we're all screaming I literally am like procrastinating reading the last couple pages. I'm barfing, okay. My heart is just like, like did I have too much coffee or is this book too good? Both. Well. 
Okay, I feel like I want to be talking into this more, but I just finished my book, so... So I'm gonna go look and see if they've got any other books by the same author. Okay, I'm back in Mysteries and Thrillers, and here she is. Kimmy Cunningham Grant. And I think this is literally the only book they have by her. Sad. Oh wow, I teared up at the end of that. Like fully, fully, fully teared up and almost like actually cried. I feel like if I would have been in a more fragile state, I would have actually cried. Okay, but here is my next pick. I'm gonna read The Searcher by Tana French because I love the cover and I don't know, it just sounds good. Part of me is like, I need to let that marinate for a second. You know, like sometimes you need a break in between books, like maybe just a few hours, maybe a couple days. Maybe I can go ahead and jump into this one. I don't know. That other one was just so good. I feel like I just want to read more from that author. Maybe I'll look up the library. Like maybe we can stop by the library on the way home. Maybe the library has some more books. Oh, we were literally laughing in um, the last bookstore because we were like, why is everyone turning to like mystery thrillers now? Because book talk burned everyone out on romance. Everyone's done with romance and is moving on. So also it's, you know, about to be fall-ish. So that too. This also looks so fun. Okay, I have a stack. I just can't decide if I want to do Tana French or Magpie Murders because I've heard a lot about both. We are just now leaving Barnes & Noble. I always want to say Barnes & Nobles. Does anyone else do no. that? No. Okay. Actually, that makes me just cringe. Me. It's, it is um, so cringy, but it just comes to me every time. 4.30 p.m. And we're trying to decide what book to read next because we always panic and we're like, I don't know. And I'm like, I'll just see what's at the library because I literally, I need to sit down and like actually make a TBR. Or, yeah, like literally make a list yes. of books that I want to read because I, I'm like, should I read an old classic? Should I read something like just spooky mystery thriller? Should I read more from the author that I just read because that was the first book of hers that I've ever read and she's only had, she only has three books. So I'm like, I could just blaze through those. Or should I read something that just came out that like everyone's talking about, like the Riley Sager, what is it called? Middle of the Night. Or mm -hmm. one that, I, that keeps catching my eye like Midnight Library or The Ministry of Time. Also, the book that I really should read is the one that I already have it checked out from the library. I don't have a physical, but it's on Kindle. It starts with a C, it's a girl's name or something. Oh, yeah. And that one's short, and it yeah, looks it like spooky, kind of. Yeah. Or the description of, uh, what's it called? Tana French, The Hunter. And I keep wanting to read a Tana French book and I keep not reading it. It says, well, one. she's one of the greatest crime novelists writing today. Thank you. It says, it's a blazing summer when oh. two men arrive at a small village in the west of Ireland. One of them is coming home. Both of them are coming to get rich. One of them is coming to die. It's an a retire, That's the new early retiree from um, Chicago PD. Yeah. Looking for, oh, we read this. He's looking for like a... Looking to settle down. Yes, I was the no, one. No, we read I that. was going to no, read this. No, that's the searcher, which I have. No. He's a retired cop. Yes. He moved to okay, a small and town, I'm and then a kid with... goes missing or something like that. Or the kid asks him for help because the detectives aren't taking it seriously. Some other crime. Okay, so then oh, I'm, shoot. I'm uh, mixing it with the one that I wanted to read. Lone, Lone River? Lone... What is it? Crap, what was that? Remember the one that was I told you it's like the 20th anniversary edition? Yeah. And I he used to work on the, the Chicago South Side. He was like, yes. A, yeah. He was like, nothing, yeah, nothing, you're basically his, nothing surprises him. Okay, so that's the Chicago PD. Yes. And then the other one is the Irish, whatever. Okay, we gotta turn the air on. Have to. I'm, I'm like actually perspiring. Like, my upper lip is gone. It's not perspiring, it's suffocation. Like, I'm about. I'm about to, to die, really. <laughs> I'll be right with you. Thank you. How can I serve you? Can I get a venti iced soy latte with two extra shots? Is that a hot latte? 
No, sorry, iced. Okay. And it's a for a birthday reward. I can do that at the window. Perfect, thank you. Thank you, I'll see you the I forgot to get my birthday reward. So, I'm getting it now for tomorrow. The drink is secured and I will be enjoying every sip of this tomorrow morning. So cheers to me and good night. I'm trying to decide between two books and I'm ready to start a new book, which I'm like kind of shocked about because I obviously literally just, and I mean just finished, what, three hours ago, my, oh, whoops. Is this so spooky? I'm literally using my little <laughs> nightstand light. I just finished The Silent Woods. So good. I'm still thinking about my rating and I'm probably just gonna put it in that video where we go to Barnes and Noble and pick out a book that we've never heard about, like a mystery thriller that we've never heard anyone talk about. So I'll talk more about that in that video. Anyways, just finished it. So I'm deciding between O Caledonia, I think that's how you say it, by Elspeth Barker, or, so that'll be a Kindle read, which I'm kind of leaning towards, or The Searcher by Tana French. I mean, are we on theme or are we on theme? I'm having to charge my Kindle, but I like really, really, really want to read this. It sounds so good. It's about like a an ex-cop or something. Yeah, he worked on the Chicago police force and he, I don't know, basically like moves, changes his whole life, moves to a remote Irish village, buys a fixer upper, and then somehow I guess gets roped into this local kid whose brother's missing his case. So we shall see, but that sounds like my vibe. But I also am thinking about O Caledonia because that one also sounds so good. It says it's an account of Janet's life from birth to early death, taking in sibling bonds and betrayals, parental intolerance, the horrors and discomforts of adolescence, and the saving grace of books. Am I gonna read that one? I kinda think I'm gonna read that one. Also, this one seemed really, really short. I don't know how many pages it is, but it seemed really short. So that would be a quick read. And then, I can move on to this one. So happy birthday to me. I'm going to probably start on O Caledonia tonight and see how far I get. I have a lot more plans and a lot more books to read. So follow along and I'll be back soon. In the meantime, don't you dare for one second, take your life for granted. Don't flush your life away, kid. Step away from the bowl, whatever. Well, you got the words right anyway. How do the, how do the gen, what do they do? When they do a heart? Isn't it like that? Whatever, this is what I'm doing. This is the Taylor Swift generation, <laughs> so.